welcome back to our channel so today's topic is teething from pediatric dentistry this is generally asked as a short note and the important headings under it include signs and symptoms and management so what is teething so when there is eruption of tooth into the oral cavity and when it is cutting through the gum and erupting into the oral cavity there are some signs and symptoms associated with it which we generally refer to as teething so the first tooth to erupt is a mandibular central incisor and it erupts at around 6 to 8 months signs and symptoms associated with teething are mainly pain inflammation of the overlying mucous membrane that is where the tooth is about to erupt the mucous membrane over the tooth to erupt will be inflamed and there may even be small hemorrhages or bleeding Presence of circumoral rash, that is rashes around the mouth area. You can see the picture. Rashes may develop around the mouth area. There may be fever and siluria or drooling of saliva. There may be gum rubbing. The child might uh, try to bite on random objects. They'll suck on their fingers to get some temporary relief from the gum pain. You can see ear rubbing on the same side of tooth eruption. The child might rub on the ear on the same side of tooth eruption. Their bowel may be upset ranging from constipation to diarrhea. There will be disturbed sleep or wakefulness, general irritability, malaise or fatigue and loss of appetite. Next one is management. There are three types of management, non-pharmacological that is without the use of any medicine, pharmacological and holistic medicine. Let's see one by one. So the first one is non-pharmacological. So in this type, we try to control the signs and symptoms of teething. We try to manage them without the use of any medicine. You can give them teething rings. You can keep them in the fridge and chill them and give it to the baby to gnaw on them so that there is some temporary pain relief by pressure produced on chewing on the ring. You can give them hard unsweetened rusk for them to bite or even frozen fruits and vegetables. A pacifier can also be given, even the pacifier can be chilled and given for pain relief by biting on the teeth. Pharmacological management you can use topical agents that is local anesthetics and minor analgesics to bring some sort of relief. You can use lignocaine hydrochloride gel. These are rapidly absorbed through the mucous membrane and they will bring temporary pain relief. So when you're giving them, you have to give 7.5 millimeter gel. You have to take them on a cotton bud or using clean fingers and these can be rubbed onto painful areas. So you can give them only maximum of six times a day with at least 20 minutes in between each application. You can also give them choline salicylate based products. These bring analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory effect. Systemic analgesics. So all this time we were talking about uh, topical, mainly topical and gel type. Now we're talking about the syrups you can give. Sugar-free paracetamol elixir can be given, which is a systemic medicament of choice in case of teething. The next one is holistic medicine. So holistic medicine is uh, includes acupuncture, that is use of pressure points to reduce pain or aromatherapy, essential oils like chamomile oil, clove oil, tea tree oil, lavender oil can be placed in the child's room to produce some kind of pain relief or homeopathic medications like matricaria tincture, teetha or boots homeopathic teething granules. So that's it guys, it's a very short topic. Some other things to be cautious about are adding sugar, honey or jam into the feeding bottles do not have any pain relieving effect. In fact, they can result in dental caries. Application of alcohol to the mucous membrane is ineffective as topical anesthetic. Not only are they ineffective, they are also dangerous because they can cause hypoglycemia. So teething is a very short topic. It is usually asked as a short note. Uh, you have to write briefly about what is teething. You can write about the first tooth to erupt. 
and the age of eruption that is uh, six to eight months then you can briefly write about the signs and symptoms mainly about the circumoral rash siluria upset bowel ear rubbing and then management under three headings non pharmacological pharmacological and holistic so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you found our video helpful please support us by subscribing to our channel and also tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos and don't forget to follow us on instagram as well thank you